Alright, so today we're going to have a pretty quick tutorial. It took me about 40 minutes to do this. I'll be narrating some of it hopefully, but drawing the strongest one today, so hope you enjoy. Starting off with a sketch here, I tend to go a bit overboard on the sketch. I think that's just me though. I actually accidentally did this on the wrong resolution, so you'll see me cut it out and move it over to a square canvas. Just because this is going to be an icon, not whatever uh, resolution it is right now. And last thing until I start talking about the line art in a bit. Somewhere in this video is going to be a code. If you send that to me on Discord, my Discord is in the description. If you're the first person, you get this art for free. You can use it for your game, you can sell it, whatever. Just find it, send it to me on Discord. But if you don't need it, please don't take it. Because I want this to go to someone who needs it. Moving on to the line art, with the line art I'm using a brush I don't usually use. I plan to go over the line art with a lot of lights from the lava that I'm going to have surrounding him. So I'm not too worried about the line quality, it won't show up that much.
that on my line art and I'm pretty comfortable with it. There are a couple of holes. I'll patch those up later. You don't really have to worry about that. I'm going to throw a reference image of Jogo on the screen just to color pick them. Try to get one that's not really shaded so you can get the pure colors because there's a lot of things where it'll look like really pale or really dark. You don't want those because it'll look weird. the shading when you're trying to shade you want to just grab really dark colors so color pick the color that you're going over and just drag it down if you look in the bottom right you can see where I drag my colors and if it's ever looking kind of bland just drag it like almost to black and then just put that in the places that should be the darkest and you'll notice the piece really just starts to pop
Now with the shading, I'm using a method that's kind of weird. I basically grab the color of the light, and then I'm going to go just real big, just anywhere I think there'd be light shining. I'm just going to go color over Jogo with that. Then I'm going to Gaussian blur it just to make it kind of dissipate like light should. Then I'm going to select all of the bits of Jogo, so the line art, the colors, all of that. I'm going to inverse that selection and I'm going to delete it. So basically that'll mean that the light is only on Jogo. Then I'm going to set the blending mode to add glow. Some other good blending modes for light is color dodge or sometimes it's just add. Once you do that you're going to go in with some really bright and kind of sharp colors at the edges. That's the yellow I'm going to use pretty soon. You're going to see it and it's going to be right at the edge of the shadow with a light and it's going to make it just look amazing. Thank you. 